What do snails and venom have in common? A toxin that can help treat chronic pain. And so nature is the cure because these peptides have been tested for millions of years. Mandy Halford, an associate chemistry professor at Hunter College, researches the peptides found in snail venom, which have been proven to be powerful painkillers. Right now, currently, it's been used to uh, treat chronic pain in HIV and cancer patients. The wonderful thing is that it's not just a one-trick pony. Each snail can produce somewhere between 100 to 250 different peptides in its venom cocktail, in its arsenal, and each of these has the potential to treat drugs. Currently, there are several other peptides that are on the market that are in different trials and therapeutic development for treating pain. Researchers have already harnessed one FDA-approved drug based on the venom. Prealt is approved. It's an FDA-approved drug that's been approved since 2004 in the U.S. and subsequently after in Europe and worldwide. And it's being used on patients currently where morphine is no longer an option. It's similar to morphine, but it doesn't have the addictive side effect because it doesn't work on opioid receptors. And it does have a major drawback in that you have to take a spinal tap to deliver it. So the use is limited right now because of the delivery method. So in the lab, what we're trying to do is figure out ways to deliver um, the pre that are less invasive. So is this, in a sense, one way to help fight our nation's opioid crisis? We're in that crisis because a lot of drug companies know one way in which to treat pain or one predominant way, which is using morphine. And morphine's great, it's effective, but you know it's addictive. This is what's happening currently, right? Causing trauma to a lot of families and a lot of people. And why this drug is important is because it demonstrated that we don't have to use opioids to treat pain. We can use something that is non-addictive. In this case, it's an N-type calcium channel, which is found, and, and it's a very selective thing where we shut off the pain. And so this is important because we basically can save lives. We can, we can alter the way in which um, pain is treated if we use the venom from these snails. Snails hunt their prey by paralyzing them with a venom from a harpoon-like tooth. Scientists have been harnessing this venom, and its continued research will create new pathways for pain treatment. There's a lot of modern technology, um, genomics, um, uh, mass spectrometry, all of these things that have come online that enable us to investigate venomous animals that before were too small or hard to, to get. Now we are able to do that. So we have both a rise in technology, we have interest from pharmaceutical companies, and we also have interest in the scientific world where a host of scientists can work collaboratively to use venom to build better drugs for society. Clinical trials with human subjects could be the next step for scientists in the coming years, which would hopefully make a non-addictive pill available for people suffering from chronic pain. For Science and You, I'm Tina Beth Pena.